let's jump straight into things. So some of these questions are from your exam, so we'll skip those. Here's your first question with pH, pK, etc. Let's give this one a quick go. So use this for speed, and in the meantime, I'm going to be going through the question that you've all sent. Okay, so Taha, what's the first thing that comes to your mind with this question, with its approach? Well, um, I can see that there is Ka, and my goal, since it's to find pH, I want to find the concentration of H, which I can do using Ka. Good, right? And one thing you should consider always is to do a rice table, right? So it's my artistic impression. But uh, don't forget, whenever you have a K question, especially with pH involved as well, always consider whether you need to do a rice table. In this case, you may not need to because it'll be pretty fast, right? So take it away, Shashant. What do we do? Uh, so you write out the equation, and since it's monoprotic, uh, well, I drew the ice table for this, but... That's fine, yeah. So I guess the final equation you'd get is x squared divided by 0 0.1 minus x, which you would just approximate to 0 0.1, equals 1.75 times 10 to the power of negative 5, which is just the k value. Good, right? That's a key point. So you, you, you definitely can do a rice table, and I would encourage you to do one, right? So... The way you know you need to do a rise table is pH is always an equilibrium concentration, right? So equilibrium concentration of hydrogen ions determines the pH. This value here is an initial concentration. If you have an equilibrium concentration and an initial concentration, you must do the ice table, right? But some of you might overlook it in the terms that you know to do it and you speed through it. So you can quite literally say, well, we know that initially it was 0 0.1 and it would have decreased by X. So obviously it's 0 0.1 minus X. We don't care about the water, and we know that these concentrations are equal, and they're both going to increase by x. So you kind of don't need to do a nice table if you've seen enough of these questions. And you can you can say what Shashant mentioned, which is k is x squared divided by 0 0.1 minus x, and that's 1.75 times 10 to the power of negative 5. And you solve for x. Shashant, what can we assume about this x value at the denominator? That it'd be close to 0. Good. So you just write x squared is equal to 1.1 times 1.75 times 10 prime negative 5. What do we get as x? And if you don't worry about the x, tell me what the pH is, everyone. 2.9. Is that your final answer? Yes. Good, yeah. So your pH is rounded off to the decimal places of the sig figs in your answer. So your question has one sig fig, so your pH value will be to one decimal place. Right, so you round it to the lowest number of sig figs but in decimal places for your answer for ph so yeah you just write 2.9 and you don't have to write units don't worry about that just write 1 dp good pretty easy question